All right, one big nationwide competition has two Central Ohio boys trying to claim that top prize. Yeah, this is going to be front, good. Party in the back. <laughs> Tintivy's Brian Somerville tells us about their quest and how you need to mull it over for who you want to vote for. <laughs> It's the way it was, and it's made a comeback the last couple years. A fashion choice. Nay, a fashion staple. And if ever anyone rocked this staple, this luscious head lettuce known as the American mullet, it's Dale. He's eight from Pataskala, also Jameson from Delaware. He's four and took a much needed siesta during our interview. I wasn't mad. It was close to his nap time. When we tried to wake him up, he wasn't happy. Dale, though, ready to talk about that mullet. Yes. Or, as he calls it. Freedom Feather. Great name. Tell him why, kid. Because I have an American flag on, shaved on the side and, um, and the feathers are my tail feathers. You see, Dale and Jameson both entered into a contest recently, the USA Mullet Championships. It, I just thought it would be fun and cool to kind of do. A competition that, in their age group, started with 689 children. On Monday, the top 25 was announced across the nation. And you guessed it, both Dale and Jameson representing proudly. Ashley Ramsey. I am. She's Dale's mom, and she's all in. He just chose to have this haircut, and we believe that if he wants that, it's his hair. Amber Monday. He fell in love with the hair, and now he cries if we say we're going to cut it off, so. Jameson's mom, and says this competition. We got to get the Buckeye State name out there. We need everybody to help us. Belongs here. Yeah, if there's going to be a number one mole, it's going to be from Ohio. Let's check in on Dale and Jameson, who's still trying to warm up to the camera. Jameson, if you sit right here, I'll, and if I win the mullet competition, I'll split all of the money with you. I'll give you all of it. That'll boy, Dale. Also, get this, the winner gets $2,500. If Dale wins, he wants to give some to a charity that takes kids on fishing and hunting trips. And part of the entry fee? went to wigs for kids. So this, um, more than hair. Huh, you're gonna make me tear up a little bit. Ramsey says it's part of Dale's nature. He takes part in at least two charities a year. So this is just part of his character. He's a good kid and has a big heart. Wait, I'm pretty sure I have some glue in the car. We can cut it off and just add it there. Sir, <laughs> this is the money maker. You understand? Not yeah. like mine. Best 12, yeah. Oh, that Dale. Oh, that Jameson. Stand up, say, go vote for me. Go vote me! Making Ohio and America fall in love with them and those glorious Kentucky waterfalls. Good luck, boys. In Columbus, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. Ah. That's a highlight of my day. Oh my gosh, that was a great story. I thought nothing <laughs> could top the duck. But that, oh, the that, mullet. That, all that. right. How do we vote for these kids? Oh we have to have them win. We're going to put the information on voting for these little guys on our website, 10tv.com. Just look for Bryant's story. Uh, we'll probably all be sharing this one, so it'll be easy to find. Great story, Bryant. Good luck, boys. I told you about I this two it. weeks ago, and Yolanda looked at me like I was crazy. Competition, and mullet now look, competition. you're all into it. Only Bryant Somerville can tell it like that. <laughs>